really need mine now. Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of my new series called Wind Down Wednesdays. Uh, I feel like it was only right. We are going to be meeting here on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. I'm gonna drop a video. This is going to be the place where we kind of discuss real life topics. You know, the vlogging is fun, the hauls are fun, day in my life, they're all fun. But I just feel like I want to do some sort of sit down every week. So I'm going to do it on Wednesdays. I feel like Wednesdays is a good day. If you work a 9 to 5, you made it through your Monday and Tuesday. You only have Thursday and Friday left over. So why not wind down on Wednesdays, you know? This is what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be talking about different topics such as self-care, mental health, therapy, relationships, friendships, family dynamics boundaries, jobs, businesses, everything you could think of. And of course, if you guys have any ideas, you can drop them down below. I'll also post polls on my Instagram every now and then so I can get your opinion on what you would like to talk about. But for now, we're going to get right into the first episode. So I hope you guys are ready. Today on Wind Down Wednesday, I feel like it's only right that the first topic that I start off with is the topic of consistency. Now, we all know how easy it is to procrastinate, how easy it is to get distracted, how easy it is to be discouraged. Of course, when things don't feel like it's moving as fast as you think it should move. And what I've learned with my experiences and with talking with my friends and family, I learned that no matter what, you have to just continue to be consistent because consistency is key. Even if, I don't remember who said it right now, but I was also watching an interview. Even if you feel like motion is slow, feel like you know, you're lagging, just stay consistent. Because again, when you don't see progress, it's very, very, very easy to get discouraged. But don't. Because things happen when it's supposed to happen, and we all know that things work on God's timing, not ours. God doesn't allow something to happen for us or to us until we are well equipped and well prepared for it. So God's timing is always better than our timing. Just be consistent and be ready to play your position and be ready to play your role when God puts this in this position that you're asking for. So again, he'll give you the strength emotionally, physically, mentally. He'll make sure you're well prepared for what you are asking for before he gives it to you. So like that, when you get it, you're good to go. And consistency for me is important because even with YouTube, it's like I was posting here and there and then, you know, questioning certain things on my channel, but it's like I wasn't really putting in the work. So now I'm more focused and I'm more consistent because even if, you know, I'm not getting a lot of views or a lot of subscribers or anything like that, they're not going to have nothing to come back for if I'm not consistent with posting videos and consistent with giving them something to look forward to. So, again, to reiterate, <laughs> be consistent. Also, I feel like I'm a perfectionist, so a lot of my, not even just with YouTube, just in life in general, I feel like everything has to be perfect, and I have to make sure everything is like A1. Yes, do good quality and do your best, but don't overthink it. Just be consistent, because consistency will put you in places that, you know, you never thought you could be. So, right now, my goal for June is to be consistent. And I want to know your opinions. How do you feel about consistency? Are you normally consistent at everything you do? And what are some tips that you think people could do to be more consistent? For me, to be more consistent and to be more organized on what I say I'm going to do, I've been learning to write everything down. Yeah, 
our phones are cool you can jot down your notes all that good stuff but i feel like writing stuff on paper like writing it down i feel like that makes it real so i've you know purchased the planner to get back into writing my stuff down you can even print out a calendar and write what you want to do again whether it's with your social life your work life your personal business your personal hobbies whatever it is just you know make a note make note of it and write it down so it's real give yourself deadlines if you need to get a accountability partner if you need to or be someone else's accountability partner if they need that accountability to come to stay consistent it, two things come in hand when you think of consistency also yes you have to be self-motivated and you have to know your why but also as with everything it takes a village so someone you feel comfortable with whether it be your friend your partner a family member whoever <laughs> try to find someone to be your accountability partner and also make yourself available and be resourceful to that person as well so they can stay consistent and before I end the discussion on consistency I also would like to say consistency plays a major role in our life I require everyone that comes into my life to be consistent I don't whether I chose you to be in my life or whether God put you in my life, like parents, we don't get to choose our parents, we don't get to choose our siblings and stuff like that, but we do get to choose our jobs, our friends, our partners. I need consistency all across the board. Like when I start a job, don't treat me a certain way and then start treating me different. Don't like that. Same thing in my relationships and my friendships. If you came to me here, I need you to be a little consistent. Well, I need you to be consistent. Let me not say a little bit. Of course, we have our good days. We have our bad days. Things happen. Yeah, but please be consistent. At least for me, I require consistency. Be consistent. If you're reaching out to me, if I'm reaching out to you, if you're planning dates or whatever we're doing, please be consistent. Don't come in and out of my life. Don't think you can show up when you want to show up. Same things go for parents. I'm sure if you are a parent and you're not with your child's parent you want that person to be consistent as well because you don't want them in and out of your child's life confusing your child or making your child question like what are they doing to not have that person present in their life so i think consistency is very very important and unfortunately at a young age we don't really get a chance to communicate that if we are raised by a single parent you know at a young age you don't really get to say like why is this person not being consistent. You just gotta go with the flow. If they pick you up this week and they do, if they don't, they don't, because you're just a child, right? But I think we need to get more into setting that tone for our child as well. Don't make them feel like they have to deal with inconsistency, because they don't. I'm gonna wrap up today's discussion on consistency. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you on the next episode of Wind Down Wednesdays. Same time, same place. So set your alarm and tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see you soon.